Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial, we are going to learn about running PHP in Visual Studio Code 2022. So let's start. So for this, we need two extensions. The first one is PHP IntelliFence, and the one, the second one is PHP Server. So we will click on these extensions, and here I'll search for uh, PHP IntelliFence, and this first one I'll click on this this one and uh, now to install this extension now we need to disable the uh, built-in php uh, extension in visual studio code so it has given the uh, procedure for uninstalling or disabling that uh, php extension so i'll copy this text Control c this and i will go to this um, extensions and here i will Control V and search this now the second one so I'll disable this one so now as we have disabled this so now we will go here and we will search for PHP and Tilly and now I'll click on this and now we will install this now it is installed so now we will search for uh, PHP server so I'll use server and now it will search this this first one i'll click on this and now i'll install this as well now as we have installed both of them so now i'll close this i'll close these extensions and now we will uh, open this file explorer now we have this php folder and now in this folder i will create a new php file so i'll name this uh, uh, index dot dot and now I'll hit enter. Now our PHP file is created. Now I'll uh, create an exclamation mark here and now I'll uh, hit control and space and now I'll hit enter so it will create automatically this code for us. Now I'll come here and now we will create here our PHP code. So I'll use this and PHP and then we will close this question mark and closing tag. now we will write some code here so I'll um, echo here single quotes or double quotes you can use both so um, I'll use a uh, welcome to PHP and here I'll use um, a BR tag so BR and I'll close this one and now I'll put semicolon here now here I will echo date and now i'll put semicolon here now i need to provide a permit inside this so i'll provide this format so now it is okay now if i right click here and uh, uh, run this php and uh, serve project now if i click on this so it is saying me that php is not found so uh, we have installed zen server and we have uh, php in that so we will go to this folder and now i'll expand this now i'll go to this uh, pc and to c folder and see i have this zem and in zem we have this php so we will open this php folder and now i'll copy this now i'll close this and now we will close this as well and now i'll uh, right click on this window and now we will go to settings and settings i'll go down and I'll go to about and advanced system uh, setting and environment variable. So now we have to add our PHP into the path. So I'll click on this path, this one, and now I'll edit this and uh, I'll add a new one and now I'll control V here. Now I'll click OK, click OK this one and click OK here. Now I'll close this one. Now I have to restart this Visual Studio code. So first I will go here and close this and now we will restart this. Now it is restarted. So now I'll right click here and now I'll uh, uh, PHP server, server project. I'll click on this. Now you can see nothing is showing up here but our PHP is running. So I'll come here. We will have an issue here. 
now if we come here and we check this so now we have this uh, issue in this uh, time format so i'll make this uh, i'll remove this remove this and remove this as well so we will create only date so i'll control s it and now if i stop this server and now if i rerun this again so now you can see welcome to php and then we have the date today is dead so in this way you can run a php and uh if you store your code so i think that's all for today i hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you